It's my pleasure to introduce to you the funkiest drummer in the world, the funkiest drummer that you ever nodded your head to, Mr. Clyde Stubblefield. Give it up, please. <laughs> Georgia. I moved to Macon, Georgia, and uh, I went to this club one Sunday, and uh, I was jamming with the band, and I didn't know, I had no idea who James Brown was. All I heard was Papa's got a brand new bag, and never seen it. And I'm sitting in the club playing, and uh, uh, some one of James Brown hitchmen's come up and go, uh, Mr. Brown want to see you over there when you get through playing. I went, okay. So I, I did that song and played another one. So James came up. He said, hey, man, I want to see you when you get through. I'll come over to this table. Yeah. And I said, cool. I met him. I said, James Brown, okay. So I went over there to the table, sat down. He said, well, come down to Augusta, Georgia. We're going, I'm going to play a show down there uh, uh, tomorrow night and uh, come down and audition for me. I said, cool. cool. Got down to Augusta, Georgia, and the auditorium was jam-packed to the people hanging from the rafters. <laughs> and six drummers on stage, and I walked. He said, come on out here on stage. I said, I got to go out there. And play out there. He said, yeah, come on out here. So he took the bass player, the guitar player, and the keyboard player. And uh, I got on a set of drums way away from the organ. He says, no, come on over here by the organ. I went, oh, yeah, I got over there. And we did a song, and the, part, the place just went crazy. I said, oh, I came off shaking. <laughs> he says, okay, I'll get in touch with you. So I got back home. I sat around the house for about a week. I said, oh, they ain't gonna say nothing. So I went back to my own, my own mind and got my stuff back together. And about uh, two or three days, the guy came up and said, hey, Brown wants you to join him in North Carolina. I went, what? He said, get your stuff together. You're going to North Carolina. So I got my stuff together and I went to North Carolina in 1965. And that's when I joined Brown, 1965 in North Carolina. And, uh, <laughs> Thank God. And, uh, my first hit was Cold Sweat. Yeah, that was my first, which I didn't know it was a hit. It is, eh? It's really James Brown fired his band. Fired his band? Yeah. <laughs> no. His band quit. Oh, they quit. <laughs> Somewhere I forgot what it was. That's before Bootsy came in. Right. And uh, they, but the band was they were getting ready to go to Europe or somewhere and uh, they asked for a raise or some kind of bonus and Brown said no. So they says, Well we leave it. And Brown had been working with Bootsy and them for a little while in Cincinnati. Uh-huh. So he called up Bootsy and them and they came, his band came. And that's how Bootsy and them started with Brown. And uh uh, he kept some of the old members, uh -huh. but not all of them. And Bootsy and them joined, and that's where it started from with Bootsy and uh, James Brown Band, the, J the JBs and stuff. So. The JBs? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And uh, it, was, it was great, but it wasn't the, the old band. I do the rims on. Yeah! I 
Let's get funky right now. Here we go. There she goes.